Today is my first day in Kingston. I'm here to do research for this year's Christian Aid show garden at Hampton Court. I'm going to be looking at the beautiful Jamaican flowers, but also some Christian Aid projects that tackle HIV and AIDS, a pressing problem here. It'll be a challenge for me to combine the two sides of Jamaica in one garden. But it's not hard to find beautiful flowers. I've already seen some at my hotel. This is beautiful hibiscus. It's a Chinese hibiscus. Um, you can get them in all sorts of colours. So I'll put this down on my list to include in my plant list for Hampton Court. Just as in my plan for the Hampton Court garden, the bright, shiny tourist Jamaica blocks our view of the reality for people here. Relatively few share the benefits of tourism. Nearly one in five lives below the poverty line. Free secondary education was recently abolished and the rate of HIV is one of the highest in the Caribbean. I'm visiting an area of Kingston called Mandela Terrace, a part of Jamaica that tourists never see. The heart of the neighborhood is this community center run by Three C's, a Christian aid partner. I want to represent this in my garden. They use art, music and dance to tackle the growing problem of HIV among young people. Our major strategy for HIV is prevention. When working with the children is to get them to delay their first sexual uh, encounter. Uh, we have realized that they, 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 are, they are increasingly having sex at an early age. Uh, so if we can delay that uh, even until about 16, 17, uh, then there's a higher possibility for them to be more aware when they start having sex and, and to use protection. So all the children are going to draw pictures for us. How is this going to help explain about AIDS? Uh, so we get them to draw issues like the family and it, about their own relationship with, with other kids and they draw in about that will give you something to work with. And so then you can talk to them about the yes, picture and yes, sort of yes, lead on from yes. there. Yeah, we used to do unprotected sex and stuff like that, but when I, when I came here, they influenced me to go and get tested and when I got tested, I found out that I don't have anything, so, no, and they taught me how to use the condom properly. I could be out there firing gun or hurting other people, but, but I come here at even classes and that gave me to keep off the road and keep off the streets and give me a good influence. One reason for 3C's success is that people in the community have partly taken over running the project. Diana Campbell helps at the centre and her children go there after school. She's going to show me her garden. I'm going to have a gate like that, I think, in the garden. Okay, this oh, is a leaf of life. Leaf of life? Yeah. When you break it, or you can juice it out, and you take it for any common cold. It have a salty taste. Um, on pangana tree. It's a okay. pangana tree. You get to understand when women are going through their pre-menopause, the leaf is good for it. You can make tea sometimes. So you make a tea out of that? Yes, yes. Okay. This is clear. This is a banana tree. Right. Okay. I know I can get a banana tree for Hampton Court, but I'm not so sure about the bananas growing on it. I'm leaving Kingston and Mandela Terrace behind now and going to see the other Jamaica. I'm going to have a look at the tourist hotels and take photographs of the beaches and the smart areas because I want to use images of those in my garden. Once past the guard at my hotel, I find lots of beautiful flowers inside. This plant here is beautiful, it's called Ixera. I've seen this a lot in Jamaica. It, sometimes it's red or you can have pink or orange. And I'd love to include this in the garden at Hampton Court if I can. While I'm admiring the Ixera at my hotel, there are people away from the tourist area picking Ixera as though their lives depended on it, which in some ways they do. 
when I get this floor here, I'm going to take them up to the building where we press them. They made beautiful cards. This project is run by Jamaica Aid Support for Life, or JAZZ, another Christian aid partner. It offers people who are HIV positive a chance to earn an income by making cards to sell to tourists. The money helps to pay for their medication. JAZZ trains people so they can leave and start their own business. There's so much stigma and discrimination in Jamaica that anyone who's known to be HIV positive would have no chance of employment elsewhere. We want people to see us as who we are, not what has happened to us. When I came here first, I was weighing 50 pounds, and 50 pounds mean that I'm going to die. Coming to Jamaica aid support, it means a lot to me. Like, we get together on a Wednesday, sit down and share. Like people who sponsor jazz, sponsor sponsor me medication. I was so happy to know that I was going to get fat again and look nice again. So should we go and have a look? My last stop here is strictly horticultural. A visit to a beautiful flower forest called Cranbrook. Is it very unusual having yes, variegated? Very I've unique. never seen that Two before. different colours. Yeah. That's why we call it the variegated. Two different beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. What's this plant here? It's a torch ginger. The one over there is a torch. Yeah. It's a beautiful torch. So this is when it's fully open. Jamaica yeah. is only one of the many beautiful places in the developing world where AIDS is threatening the nation's future, especially its most vulnerable people. I hope that in my garden, visitors will take in both the beautiful flowers and the message about Christian AIDS' work in fighting HIV and AIDS worldwide.